All right, so let's talk about starting businesses. You know, I really decided to go back to the roots of this channel. And I get a lot of conversation about how hard it is to start a business. The difficulty, the challenges of starting a business. And I also get that it would be easier to invest in stock or real estate than starting a business. So let's have this conversation. Right now, you can start a template business or a service business for little to no money with little experience. And you can grow that business into a six figure and in some cases a seven bit figure concern. Now, let's talk about the time. That's the real issue because when you start a business without a lot of money, the time that it's going to take to scale it is going to be significant. And that's one of the things that people um, have an issue with because I'm watching a lot of videos and right now I think these are some great times to be living in. I think that the information that is on the internet is fantastic and people are in a state because this pandemic I mean, people have been feeling this way for a while. They've been feeling this way for a while, but this pandemic exposed and opened up the thought process of what am I doing with my life? And many people <clears throat> are questioning getting a job and working for 45 years to retire at 60 something and with life expectancy for the average person and being at 78, 80 years. So they're gonna have like 14, 15 years to relax. And a lot of people are not really embracing that concept anymore. And part of that happened because there used to be a social contract between workers and business. If you give us your life force, your energy, and help us make this money, we're going to give you a pension. That disappeared roughly in the 70s. It started to disappear, and there are very few companies or very few people who are eligible for a pension, which means that they would get money for their retirement without having to put money away. It was a beautiful thing, and uh, many people with pensions are actually making more money with their pension and they were working, making when they were working. So that social contract has been broken and people are waking up to the fact that no one's gonna take care of you. No one's going to be looking out for you. No one is going to care for you. It is a dog eat dog world and many, many people are waking up to that reality and they're beginning to understand that now that they must do something. And this is my thesis. Like 75% of the country is in the economic danger zone. 75%. They make less than $50,000 a year. They don't have enough money to become an investor of significance. And this is what we're talking about because I get these comments from people who are not in the danger zone. I got a comment of someone who makes 200K who was investing in crypto. Let me go ahead and give you the danger zones. Danger zone number one, less than $50,000 a year. You don't have money to invest. And I had this person, and let, let's go ahead and talk about cryptocurrency. If you're investing in cryptocurrency, you're not a financial genius. You got lucky. And at some point, your luck's going to run out. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Because essentially, luck is not an investment plan. Luck is not a business plan. You got lucky. So, you know, I'm getting these people who are, you know, and I, also, I feel this is why crypto is so insanely popular 
is because of the lottery type aspect of it, and which is just not sustainable long term. It's just not. But, you know, with this conversation, people are starting to awaken to the reality that there's no one that's going to take care of them, there's no one that's going to provide for them, and it is looking bleak for a lot of people for retirement. So people are starting to take stock and become aware, and this is one of the reasons, though, so back to the three income danger zones. $50,000 a year or less, that's, that's an income danger zone. Uh, Fifty to a hundred thousand. That's a potential income danger zone. And a hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand. You can do what you want. You you can finance cars. You can invest in crypto because you make so much money that if you lose money, it doesn't hurt you. Whereas if you're in danger zone number one, a few bad mistakes, a few setbacks, it could be financially crippling. So right now, there's a lot of talk. And I think it's misguided talk of starting a business because uh, here's my story. I started a business in resale. First, my first business actually was the reselling of used office furniture. It wasn't particularly challenging. Uh, it, 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 it didn't. It wasn't like rocket science. Um, I didn't knew how to sell furniture. I was already invested and learned of what to do in that industry and I made a lot of money. So when I'm saying start a business, you're not going out and starting the next Facebook or you're going to start the next uh, Google. You know, these type of businesses will take billions in startup capital. Billions. If you want to start another Amazon, if you wanted to start another uh, Walmart, you would need to be starting with billions. Not millions, but billions to even have a ghost of a chance. So essentially, I want you guys to do what I did. I started a business, low-tech business, resale, once again, I would recommend that a lot of you get into resale for your first business. If you never had a business, you don't really know what you want to do. I would recommend that you get into resale and learn. Learn about customers, learn about products, learn about the stuff. And this is a business you can get into for under 500 bucks. Like literally, if you have $50 extra in your pocket, you can get into resale. And you can scale that up. So this is what I'm talking about starting businesses. I'm not talking about you're trying to start Starbucks. I'm not talking about you're trying to start the next uh, Macy's. I'm not talking about that because essentially you would need a lot of skill and a lot of money to start those kind of businesses. That's where you are with those kind of businesses. However, starting a simple service business uh, starting a simple resale business. Um, that's something you can do without a lot of experience, without a lot of investment. This is something you can do. This is something you can build. And this is something that you can make money. Because like, once again, this is the income target. Start your small business and your goal is 375 to 500 bucks per week while keeping your job. <clears throat> You're not quitting your job. That's a fantasy. I mean, many of these YouTube ads have you guys hyped up that you can quit your job and make all this money and be free. Um, some people can do it, most people can. <clears throat> but the, the, the plan that I'm, I'm putting out for you is something that the average person can do with an average intellect. And I'm not trying to be insulting or demeaning. There are some people who are smarter than others. Uh, there are some people who have more money. And essentially, I want you guys to be healthy, wealthy, and happy. And you gotta understand that you can start a business. You can start a business. <clears throat> I've just passed my friend's car wash. Washing cars, 
very simple business, two million a year. He started like 25 years ago. Two million a year, washing cars. So there are many businesses that you can start. You can, like I said, you know, uh, I'm gonna get into probably some type of business incubator and some business models because a lot of you don't have any imagination. Uh, one of the things that I hear frequently is, hey, you don't provide any good business ideals. Uh, like, uh, a la JT Hustles or the Black Hustlers Club, Raise the Entrepreneur. Many people are looking to be told what to do. I am a free thinker. I feel that the average person can figure some stuff out. And doesn't need to be spoon fed, but I'm gonna start spoon feeding some of you people because essentially you gotta get started. You gotta get started because we're about to enter the great global reset. We're gonna have people shifting up. I want you to be one of those people who are shifting up and we're gonna have people who are shifting down. And I don't want you to wanna be one of these people who are shifting down. Like right now, we, you know, previous video, we have an artificial economy. This isn't a real economy. However, this artificial economy is creating real money. It's an artificial economy. Like this thing with Dogecoin, which was created as a joke. It has no utility, it has no functionality, but it is a pawn in this artificial economy that is creating income and money for people. So right now, if you wanted to participate in the artificial economy and make some money, you need to have some money. Uh, right now, there's a dude by the name of Gary Tan who invested 300K 300 in 2012 in Coinbase. And that investment has yielded and that has made him a billionaire. But, you know, people look at that it's like, yeah, you know, I, I had someone who was saying that Coinbase is making people millionaires. If you're not someone who was in the inner circle, uh, no, you're, you're not getting any millions, you're not getting any billions. Only early investors are getting these type of returns, not the average folk. And also, once again, they're going to ban crypto. There's going to be some type of strangulation on crypto. It's coming. But one of the things I want you guys to understand and realize is you can start a business. You can start a business. You can be making crazy money and you can change your life. You can do some remarkable stuff by starting a business. Because this is what happened to me. I was just like you. I was out here. I was um, doing things. And I did not realize the change that was going to happen in my life from starting a business. I had no clue what was coming. I had no ideal that this was gonna happen, right? And for the last, you know, I got on this trail at 34. So for the last 20 years, I have been on the entrepreneur track. I have been um, making money outside of the system. I have been enjoying a robust life. I have been enjoying the perks of having money because of a business. And a business is the fastest way for you to get rich. It is the fastest way for you to change your financial circumstances. Like what has happened in this artificial economy, Game Stock, um, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, these are artificial. They're not durable nor permanent. And this is 
one of the things that's going to catch up with people that's going to create some hardship, some pain, some drama for some people because folks don't understand what it takes to make money because they're trying to finesse the system. They're trying to um, run a game on the system. They're trying to um, play the game on this artificial chessboard in a manner that is not um, congruent to really making long-term durable money. Because you hear me guys say that all the time. I want you to make long-term durable money. And one of the issues that is happening is that people don't understand um, what they need to do. They don't understand what is required for them to make long-term money. They don't understand. <laughs> It is not understood what is necessary and required. All right. It's crazy. It's weather. It's weather it is kind of bananas right now. But, all right, so back to the discussion about starting the business. There are many people who are afraid to start a business because of lack of information. Um, there are many people who feel that they need a lot of money to start a business. And yes, to be honest, there are some businesses that you will need a lot of money to start. And there are businesses that you don't need a lot of money to start it really depends on where you are what you're trying to do what you're trying to accomplish what your your game plan is and one of the reasons that I am so big on businesses is it literally changed my life it literally changed my life it changed the trajectory of my life. It changed everything in my life. It really set me up on a different path. It set me up. I'm checking out this old couple in the Ferrari. I mean, they're like, <laughs> they're like 70s in the Ferrari. It was funny. That's how they do around here. You see that all the time. Old people in fantastic cars enjoying life and you know to that I guarantee you if I were to follow him and do that thing that that guy's like I like your car what do you do guarantee it'd be a business owner guarantee it but essentially what I'm trying to do is create education and create um, awareness because Right now, the language here on YouTube is about quick money hustles, how you can do something ridiculously fast. All right, here's the thing. The average person in America makes $3,000 a month. So when you're trying to create an income of like $10,000 a month, or you're trying to create more income and you, you you're, you're only used to look, let's talk about this is why you need to start a business and you need to start off small you have a financial set point you have a certain level of money that you're comfortable with not necessarily happy with but you're comfortable with that level of income you're comfortable with that output and you know, you may not be happily, you might be struggling. It could be a struggle, but that is your financial set point.
point. And a business will expand that over time. And that's one of the things, because essentially, if someone wins the lottery and they have a financial set point of say $3,000 per month, they're gonna do all types of crazy stuff to get back to that financial set point. That's what they're gonna do because they're trying to achieve that financial set point. So a business will grow you as a person. As a person, you will grow, you will expand, you will become more of. You will become more. You will grow, you will expand, you will stretch, you will um, become much, much more than you currently are because the business is gonna force you to grow as a person. It's gonna force you to expand and to push out and to push past your your boundaries. It's, it's gonna really, really stretch you. And that's another reason, because um, essentially the, the conversations here on YouTube are in my opinion, as someone who knows better, a little disgusting. Uh, I was watching this video on YouTube of these guys, these young guys who apparently have some YouTube, because they look like YouTubers, and they act like YouTubers, and apparently the police was coming to arrest them, and they were just walking around acting like total dummies. Like, hey, bro, hey, bro, bro, bro. Not, and this is, this is something that you see. You, you see people who are not particularly bright and they have success, it starts you thinking like, well, you don't have to be smart to be successful. It starts that kind of social signaling. It kind of starts that thought process. And essentially, it's not true. You do need to be smart to be successful. And you see all of these, you know, for lack of a better term, douchebags online who are not displaying any intellect, who apparently seem to have the Ferrari, the nice house, and they're just sitting around doing average folk stuff. It just sends a corrupted message. It sends a message that you don't really have to do anything extraordinary or above board to be successful. And that's just not the reality of it. So if you want to be successful, you're going to have to stretch yourself. You're going to have to push yourself. And the businesses I talked about, like I can just push back in the comments all the time, you know, uh, the probability of starting a business. You can start an eBay business and keep that going 15, 20 years. Easy. 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 <clears throat> so it really depends on what type of business you start. It depends upon who you are, where you are in terms of your entrepreneur's journey. And one of the things I want you guys to understand during this global reset, and the global reset is real. The global reset is no joke. If you're not a business owner or an investor of significance, and I'm gonna talk about investor of significance, or someone in a position to exploit the global reset is just gonna pass you by. Now, let's talk about investors of significance. Like everyone wants to be an investor. And right now you have people who have disposable income, 150, 200, 300 bucks a month, and they wanna put that somewhere. Or someone may have $10,000 and it's like, where can I put this? First of all, this is the conversation with investing. Investing is not a short-term game. Investing is a 20 to 30 year game. And I'm gonna tell you why. Your money needs a very long runway to work hard for you. And if you're investing like two, 300 bucks a month, over time, it will amount to something. But we're talking 40 years. Whereas if you become an investor of significance, where you can put $1,500, $2,000, $3,000 a month, you will see 
significantly more gains because you're an investor of significance versus quote an investor and this is one of the things because this is the roadmap that I lay out you start a small business once again the goal is 1500 a month why 1500 a month 1500 a month will help you clean up a lot of dumb financial mistakes that you make such as financing cars getting in consumer debt that will help you get out of that and within two years you should have you should be debt free depending upon your debt level like you know you can go to school and have like a hundred thousand dollars in student loans or something like that but that will get you out of the that zone and increase your income and then you can start becoming an investor you start the business 375 bucks per week to 500 this is doable for most people of average intelligence <clears throat> get you 1500 to 2000 dollars a month additional income then you take that income and you pay off debt you get out of debt that's the first thing you do then the second thing you do is establish your long-term emergency fund your short-term emergency fund your family operating account you establish that and then after you have that money set aside this is when you start investing you do not start investing because I, I, I got a video where I worked it out like if you follow this plan let, let's say you you have hundred and fifty dollars a month that you can invest or 200 let's say say 350 three hundred and fifty dollars right and if you stop doing that and you follow my plan and you built your income and you did this for two years and cleaned up all your bad habits. And in year three, your first year of investing, your investment account would be bigger than if you had continued to invest that 350 into your investment account for three years. That one year of investing at 1500 is gonna give you a bigger investment account than investing 350 for three years. So, this is where I want you guys to be because essentially America has an income problem. And this is why America crips into having a debt problem. So just a little something for you guys to digest. So go ahead. If you want to become a business owner, go below, get into the art of holding. The price doesn't go up until May. And then we can start cooking with gas and teach you guys how to start businesses, how to become entrepreneurs, and how to play the business game.